Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of functional equations. We have f of x equals 2x plus 1 and f of g of f of x equals 4x plus 9. And we are going to solve for g of x because we already know what f of x is. And the f of g of f of x is the composition of f, g, and f in that order. So let's see how we can solve a problem like this. These problems are so much fun. I hope you enjoy them too. Let me know what you think. So since we're given f of x, we can basically apply it to anything. So x is the input, as you know, and it's also called the independent variable because you can pretty much use whatever you want. And then the y value is the output, which depends on x. That's why it's called the dependent variable. So in this case, our input is going to be what, right? So if you start here, you're going to replace f of x with what it is, which is 2x plus 1. But then you don't know what g of 2x plus 1 is because you don't know g of x. But here's the thing. If you look at the outermost f, that's an f, right? So we can go ahead and take this whole thing as an input. Because the functions are really cool, you can pretty much replace x with anything as long as it's in the domain. And what do we know? These are, these seem to be linear functions, so maybe it's the real numbers. So anyways, that kind of reminds me, we can probably talk about a second alternative method. But let's do the first one first. So for our first method, we're going to go ahead and replace x in f of x with this. So in other words, f of g of f of x, which you treat as a single entity, is 2 times g of f of x plus 1 by this definition. Look at that. We replace x with that and x with that. Okay? Make sense? So, and we do know what it is. What is f of g of f of x? It's 4x plus 9. Awesome. Because this gives you g of f of x. After a little bit of manipulation and solving equations, subtract 1. This is the composition of g and f. Divide by 2. g of f of x equals 2x plus 4. Awesome. So we got g of f of x, how does that help? Do we know f of x? Yes. If you knew g of x, that would be a different story, but then they wouldn't ask for it. So let's go ahead and replace the f of x here with 2x plus 1. Yay! 2x plus 1. And that's equal to 2x plus 4. Uh-oh. Does that look familiar? Yes, it should. Now, if you call this something, how about t? This would become t plus 3, right? So g of t would be t plus 3, which implies g of x equals x plus 3. But what do you mean? You already replaced 2x plus 1 with t, then how can you say t is x? I'm not saying t equals x. I'm just saying replace t with x. It's not the same thing, okay? It's not the same thing, kind of, right? So g of x happens to be x plus 3. Awesome. Now, we got the answer, so what else can you ask for, right? Well, here's the thing. We can also look at the second method. And if you know of a third way to solve this problem, please let us know, because we're dying to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the original problem. f of x equals 2x plus 1. This is a time for notability to go crazy. Or the Apple Pencil. I don't know which one it is, but that has to do with static, I think just starts acting crazy. I hope it doesn't anymore because I try to do something, maybe ground it a little bit, whatever. So let's see if it's gonna work. f of x equals 2x plus one and f of g of f of x is 4x plus nine. And our goal is to solve for g of x. Remember what I told you. These look like linear functions, why? First of all, f is linear g of f of f of g of f is linear. Since f of f, f, f is linear, this must be linear, right? That means g is linear, probably. I don't know. I'm just guessing, okay? So why don't we say, okay, let g of x 
b a x plus b. Awesome. Now, under this condition, uh, having said that, we can go ahead and evaluate g of f of x, which is g of 2x plus 1, by the way, right? Because we know f of x, we can just replace f of x with what it is. Now, here's the interesting question. Now, if you have g of something, let's say g of x, and you know what g of x is, you can replace x with that. So let's say you know that g of x is x squared. You can say, hey, if x is 5, then g of 5 is 5 squared. But, so this equation is valid because f of x, okay, this is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me make it more clear. If f of x is 2x plus 1, then g of f of x is g of 2x plus 1. In other words, if you replace f of x with that, or if you add apply g to both sides from the left, it works. But the converse is not always true. So if you have g of something, let's say f of x, and g of h of x, this does not always imply that f of x equals h of x. Just a quick note here. This is true under certain conditions. But anyways, this is not the same g, so let's not even worry about it. I just wanted to tell you real quick this fact. So this is what we get from here. And now g of 2f g of 2x plus 1 is known because we know g of x is ax plus b. So let's go ahead and replace it with that. If you replace x with this here and here, g of 2x plus 1 is going to be a times 2x plus 1 plus b or 2ax plus a plus b. This is g of f of x. Now we do need f of g of f of x, right? And we know that this is equal to 2ax plus a plus b. We also know what f of something is because f of x is giving us 2x plus 1. So this is our input, 2 times that. Let me write it here because I don't think I'm going to have enough room there. So f of something is 2 times the input, makes sense, plus 1. But guess what? It's given f of g of f of x is given as 4x plus 9. So we can now go ahead and set it equal to 4x plus 9. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. 4ax plus 2a plus 2b, or not 2b, a plus 1 equals 4x plus 9. From here, we can subtract 1 from both sides or totally go off of this. The coefficient of x needs to be 4. That means a is equal to 1. And this needs to be 9. 2a plus 2b equals 8. a plus b equals 4. And since a is 1, b is 3. And since g of x was ax plus b, g of x should be x plus 3. And that's the exact same solution that we found before. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.